Man's Greatest Power A Rosicrucian Insight Of all the creatures living and having their existence in the life of God, man alone possesses this greatest of creative powers. It cannot be that God has given to man this ability to mentally create, to mentally foresee and forebuild the things of tomorrow without having intended that these things should be realized in their fullest degree. If man has pinned his faith in the past to the material world, and has believed that only those things which are created of matter and created through the forces or energies of nature are real and actual. It is no credit to him that he has thus willfully limited his world of existence to mere physical form. It is time now that he should lift himself beyond the physical world and find that in the spiritual, mental world, in the etheric existence around him, he can build and create, have and enjoy the things that are beyond the physical and are more essential, more real and dependable than any that the atoms of nature or the electrons of spirit can create. It is time that man freed himself from the wholly fictitious, the truly unreasonable, the cosmically unsound, and the wholly inadequate creations of the physical world. The most pleasant, the most satisfying, the most enjoyable, and the most needful things of our physical existence are merely pleasures of the flesh. They are all sycophant in their appeals to the sensuous part of our natures. Man has ignored the fact that the only laughter that has ever given him real joy, the only happiness that has made him feel the sunshine of life, the only food that has ever satisfied a real hunger, the only wealth that has ever given him any degree of relief from want, has been that which appealed to the spirit and mind within him rather than to the flesh of his body. Why not then? Lift yourself above and beyond the continued satisfaction of physical wants while suffering the limitations of physical things and use the great power within for the purpose of creating in reality and turning into actuality the things that will bring real life, real happiness, and real mastership. Let your life from today henceforth be one of living realism through the creative power within you that knows no limitations and finds its source in the goodness of God's love. Dr. H. Spencer Lewis, Rosicrucian Digest, August 1933.